Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. This is Coogan Cassis for IFM London. We're at the ABC Gator Gym here in Haynor. With me, I've got soon-to-be professional boxer Martin Ward. How are you, Martin? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm good, yeah. You're making a debut on September the 8th on Darren Barker's undercard. Uh, you must be thrilled to be finally getting this uh, this shot at professional boxing. Yeah, definitely. I've, um, I've been in the pro gyms with down here with Tony for the last, since I was 17. I'm nearly 21 now, so um, I was always looking forward to becoming a pro. And uh, I'm over the moon now. I've, I've, Signed with uh, Eddie Horn and, that, and um, I can't wait to, to get it on the road. Obviously, I know you've been training in here because uh, we came here a year ago when we were following uh, Eddie Horn about for the day and we saw you in the gym then. Uh, but w can you tell me why you ultimately decided that Matchroom and Eddie Horn were the right people for you to be with? Well, um, I've, I've known Eddie like a couple of years and that, and he, uh, I know he treats his, his, his fighters like he treats them very well. So um, I, I had a we had a meeting with Eddie, and we never went to nobody else. First time we went with Eddie, and um, had a couple of meetings. I never talked to nobody else. Never talked to Frank Warren, Hatton. I was all the time looking um, to go with uh, Matchroom, and I'm, uh, I'm over the moon that I finally signed with him. Um, you're going to be starting your professional debut at lightweight, I understand. So obviously, starting at lightweight, and you'll probably move up because you seem quite big. Yeah, well, I'll start at lightweight. We'll have a few fights there, and um, we'll see where it goes. But I'm probably I'm still growing, like I'm still uh, maturing. Okay, um, so I'm, I'm not I'm not 21 yet. I'm 21 uh, in, in a month or so. So I'll be looking to move up for uh, like whether or not, yeah. Obviously, there's uh, so much talent in the the matchroom stables with um, people like Carl Froch, Kel Brook, and Darren, and all these guys that you surely can learn from. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, um, just looking up to the likes of them. They're seen. I've trained with Carl and um, in Sheffield the last three years. So he trains like a lunatic. You know, to see the way what you got to do to get there. Yeah, um, it makes you train hard, and I'm, I'm smart like. Doing a good bit of sparring with, I just sparred like ex-British champion Carl Johansson, and um, I learn, I learn a lot from them. So them sort of guys, they've been there and done that, so um, it's it's all experience, all learning. Now you've had a very decorated amateur career. Can you tell us a little bit about your amateur career? Yeah, well, uh, I started off when I was a kid um, in Dagenham. I had a couple of fights there, and then moved to Repton. Like I, I won quite a lot of titles for Repton, junior from junior to senior. I got on international scene um, about 15 years of age. I was won the EUs, and I uh, went on from there. Won. European medals, world medals. Went to the European Juniors, took the gold medal in. Entered the senior ABAs, um, won the senior ABAs in 2010 it was, at Featherweight. So um, I'm, I'm proud of what I've done that does an amateur. So I've went to the Olympi Olympic qualifiers as well. Very unlucky, got got um, a public warning. Lost uh, by a point, but two points took off me. So a bit gutted, but you, you learn from them sort of mistakes, you know? Um, a, lot, a lot of people are talking very highly of you, and they have been for quite some time now. Um, do, do you feel any pressure as you're about to turn pro, or are you just going to take it all in your stride, Martin? No, 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 I'll take it all in my stride. Um, I'll just take every, every gym session as it comes. I'm learning this gym every single day. I'm sitting down and my punches a lot more now, whipping and body shots. Like, Just take me time on the inside and that. Just work uppercuts, hooks, and don't panic. Just keep me cool and that. So um, I don't feel no pressure. No, I, I, I love it. I love everybody's talking about me, so... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on some good shows for them to, to keep them talking. Would you say your promoter Eddie Hearn is the best dressed man in boxing? I should think so. Yeah. What would you say? Would you reckon? No. Do you know what? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I'm going with Spencer Fearon as best dressed boxing. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'll give it to Eddie. You know, with a pink shirt. He's 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 wrapping it off today. Can he pull off a pink shirt. Do you think Eddie's that you that he got that much swag that he can pull off a pink shirt? He's got a Bentley outside, so I think he can pull off the, the pink shirt. You know what I'm saying? Martin, that's spot on. He's got a Bentley outside. Doesn't really matter what shirt he wears, does it? Wear a yellow shirt, a white, a blue one. He could pull it all off. Mate. He's got that car outside. <laughs> well, in a few years, Martin, I'm sure you'll be driving alongside him in a well, in a same pink shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Ward, listen, thank you very much for talking to IFM London and uh, I mean you speak to Eddie Earn and we'll, we'll be talking a lot more over the next f months and years probably, so good luck with your pro career. Cheers, thank you very much. Coogan Cassius with Martin Ward here for IFM London, thank you very much. Oh.